Oh, stuff's getting serious. Hmm. What a change in scenery. We were just in a science lab, and now, quite, it's almost as if we're in... Whoa, look over there. Uh, those people are floating what? away. What on earth is going on? Whatever it is, it most likely has to do with Maruki's uh, cognition in some way. I'd say he believes anyone who undergoes his treatment winds up feeling downright raptures. So he actually thinks he's sending them to paradise. Hmm. Maruki must really be convinced he's doing the right thing. <laughs> Dr. Maruki. Mona Senpai, the treasure's above this room, right? Yeah, I think we're pretty close. The real problem is actually getting up there. Whoa! There are some stairs, but there's a big old hole in the middle of them. They got thick they got thick looking vines growing out of um out of both sides too. Think we can use those somehow? We don't know if they'll support our weight. I'd rather not take any unnecessary risk. The steps do extend part way um, upwards, so there should be some method to turn them into safe passageways. At least, that's what Prior Palace experience makes me think. I must agree, and it looks like there, was, there may be a device for doing just that right over there. Think it could help? Um. Well, what say we don't waste any time then? called the Twilight Corridor. Weird name considering that uh, it's not dark at all. There must be something good inside. What is this? Hmm. It's a light control switchboard. It's for adjusting the brightness of the colored lights. See the light on that gate in front of the stairs? Right now, the color on the dimmer switch panel matches that of the light. Now that I take a closer look, the vines appear to, um, to form stairs where the light is shining. I believe we'll be able to change the available pass if we alter the lighting. Joker! Alright, Joker, try out the dimmer switch and change the color scheme of the lights. I I L Cat Piton. Cat Piton. So if I turn them all on, what happens? We fixed the stairs. It appears the vines grow whenever the color of light matches the color of flowers. We switch. The switch also seems to affect any lights in the immediate area. I wonder if there are many more of them in here. <laughs> Point is, we can use these light switch thingies to make the vines grow, right? Let's get to work, Joker. I like when he tries to sound smart. And I'm just like, shut up, boy. Empowering Ofuda. This is perfect. So it's a all right. First the stairs. Now we have wall of vines. We grew stairs out of vines by manipulating light also. switches. Shouldn't we ever do the same with this wall? But of course. Turn that one off. And you need... Hmm. Not only that, we only had access to the red lights here. Should we find any additional switches? I doubt we'll have access to all the colors that are um, there either. That's something we'll have to keep in mind um, in mind going forward. But of course, focus. Focus. That's a hand. I'll reveal your true form. I'll reveal your true form. Take over. Take over. Don't rush this. I wonder if this one has any more specials that she has to learn. Weak to electricity. And weak to... Well, nothing. Uh, so we sword dance her. Seldrion! Alright, we're gonna pass it on to Joker. Sure. 
And we're gonna go for... Did I get rid of him? Oh, I think I did. I think I fused Odin. Guess we're going Shiva. There. Yep. Hey, what's up, uh, Runner Master? What advice do you need? What's up? I didn't post my name and info. It's all good. What's going on? Need advice on a Pokemon deck. It's time to pull out. All right. Are you talking about the uh the B drill deck? Huh. Weird. It's not letting me uh click on it. So you want to make it more consistent, is what you're saying. No, the paceman has it. See, the problem is, is because I have no idea how the deck is supposed to run, I wouldn't be able to give you any advice without okay. actually building the deck and running it myself to get a feel for it. But as of late, I really haven't had much time to actually do... <coughs> Excuse me, Pokemon TCG. Oh man, something's killing my nose. Especially at this moment, because I'm streaming, um, and for me, I would need to be able to open up and then figure out what each card does. Um, since I don't really know exactly what every card does. Um, I know what the Spirit Tome does. I believe I remember what the Beedrill does and the Jirachis. Uh, I'm not sure what the Jinx is, um, does, though. I'm assuming you want to get the uh, Beedrill out quick. Hmm. What does Turfield Stadium do as well? Yeah, I'm gonna have to look up each card and try to figure out which each one's does. Um, and Destiny Stinger is the one that it says if this um, Pokemon was was it damaged by any attack the previous turn, it knocks him out. It kills the Pokemon that has the damage counter on it, correct?
me. That's a TEU beat drill. You can't, you can use this attack only if this Pokemon has any damage counters on it. Both active Pokemon are knocked out. Okay. So then what you would need is a way to get them out quicker. Uh, do you, have you thought about have you thought about running uh, route eggs for the quick acceleration um, for evolutions? Uh, let me see what's the jinx. The jinx was UN, UNM76. Uh, once per turn, you may move one damage counter from one of your Pokemon to another of your Pokemon. Okay. Hmm. I don't... I don't think you need the Jinx in your deck. Though I guess you can only use four, uh... Four of the uh, rainbow energies. So that's the problem. You have too many focuses in your deck right now. From what I'm looking, from what I'm seeing, you have way too many focuses. Like you're using the spirit tomb to deal damage. Um, but the spirit tomb's ability is based off of what the damage counters on it. But so is the B drill, so that means you have to think about where you want to put those those um, what you call it's the uh, rainbow energies. If you're using the Jinx to move the damage counters around, that means either Spiritomb is doing less damage, or you don't have the damage on B drill to use Destiny Stinger. Yeah, I understand that, but then at that point, what's the spirit tomb there for? If your your sole purpose is to use Destiny Stinger to take knockouts on GX EXs, um, and take two prizes while only giving up one prize, then you don't need spirit tomb. Uh, your best bet would be to just build the deck based off of B drill to make it faster to get B drill out, as opposed to trying to have both the B drill and the spirit tomb on your deck, on your bench. Maybe put like Aura and Gurus or something like that. It's for the matchup against one prizes. That makes sense. Like Blounds, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because at that point you you lose to Blounds if without the Spirit Tone. Yeah, no, that makes sense. It just it's it's tough because you need at least three Spirit Tombs, but then Beedrill takes up so much space in your deck. That it's kind of hard. I mean, it's, it's a great idea, it's just, it takes up so much space in your... Because I used to run a Spirit Tome deck with a... Can't remember what the other creature was. It was Spirit Tome and something else that was based off of damage counters. The Elder Goss is to recycle supporters, correct, from your discard? And you also have the Jirachis to help get uh, your items quicker. Too much going on. There's just too much going on on your bench. Um, I'm guessing you're going to have... And I'm just throwing it out there. You're going to have two Spirit Tomes on your bench, one Weedle, and or B drill, one to two Jirachis, 
I still don't see there being space for the Jinx. That's... I'm thinking about how your bench is going to look like. And it seems like you just don't have the bench space to put all of those out. Um, you're going to want to... Because, I mean, you need to have multiple Weedle Beedrills on your bench setup. You're gonna, you need to have multiple spirit tones on your bench setup, or to get set up, and you need Jirachi to help draw those candies to get your bead drill out. I just, I'm look, just by looking at your your list, you just have way too many Pokemon that need to be on the bench. Jirachis aren't, Jirachis take up space. Jirachis are, that's basically considered one to two spaces on your bench or on your field that you just don't have. Um, because most of the time people aren't going to kill the Jirachis, at least for this deck, um, because it's so easy to kill the Beedrills and kill the Spirit Tomes. They're most likely going to keep killing your attackers um, just to get them off the field, as opposed to the Jirachis. So that means there's two spaces you won't have. Um, and because they're killing your Spirit Tomes, you're constantly trying to add more to your deck, uh, to your bench, to make sure you have, you know, setups going so that you can, no matter what they do, you can still get your attacks off and whatnot like that. You're not attacking with the Jinx at all. The Jinx is just a bench space. So if you put the Jinx down and people realize you're not attacking with the Jinx, that Jinx is sitting on your bench and you, you can't do anything with it. You literally have no more space with anything. So you can get stuck in a situation where you're not able to play cards from your hand because you have no bench space. Because you got Jirachis. You have the Jirachis that are taking up space plus the Jinxes that are taking up space. Um, so it only leaves you with like two to three spaces for spirit tone B drills. Um, I don't know. I don't know, and I say this because the Dene is a huge target. <laughs> That's two prizes that you. And your kind of deck, you don't want to give up two prizes. Uh, so putting putting a low HP GX in your deck could could compromise you, especially against something like Dra um, Dragapult. Uh, and even you know weird failing decks or Reshizard that deal a lot of damage with one hit they get that lead they get that prize lead with the uh, killing the thing it's it hurts I mean the Dene is always useful in any deck the problem is is because you're trying to keep it as a single prize versus you know multiple prize decks do you want to risk potentially giving up you know multiple prizes Because you would, you would essentially need to take a knockout almost immediately. Uh, do I turn this one on? I think I do. Do you get the energy back with the scoop up nets though? I, I don't remember if you do or not. Pick up the tombs. I mean, it could work. Definitely could work. I need to look up energies too, special energies. Give me a second, I'm gonna grab my binder. I wanna look at some special energies real quick like Yeah. Energy, energy disruption might help.
But the question once again comes up, do you have the space in your deck for it? Because you have so many other tools that you need to put in there. Maybe, have you even, um, have you thought about Oranguru as well? Oranguru? Need something that puts on damage counters. Besides the toe. do to see if there's any of the new cards that uh, do essentially the same thing. Still feel like raw legs would be your best bet as far as getting what's his name out quicker. Trend TV, thank you for the host and welcome to the stream, everybody that's coming from Trend TV stream. You're live with your man Broshi89, and I am currently trying to help out a friend with their deck for Pokemon TCG. I actually have two Dragon Pulse. I need to get the rest of them. So if it looks like I'm not paying attention to you, it's not because I dislike you. It's because I'm looking through my cards. Yeah. It's just tough because there are so many other factors you have to consider. So it's hard to make the proper call for it. The APOM is in insane. Yeah, I think right now the only thing that does deal damage is the counter blowns. Okay. That makes sense. Oh crap, uh, boop. Let me open up a, uh, yank out the scarf, random cards from your opponent's hand until they have five cards in their hand. I can see that doing something, but it's specifically for that, yeah. It would take up a space in your deck and only be for a specific deck. Yeah, I, I mean, I haven't really seen much competitive um, online play because, well, I have a lot of stuff that I'm doing outside of my stream. Um, but from what I understand, from the little bit that I do play, it's mostly just Dragapult. It is dumb. 
Marnie Rosa boss's orders. The Rosa is for the uh, extra cards when knockout, I believe. Great catcher, ordinary ride, turf field stadium. Get the switches. Pokey cards. I would even take, I would even put in like a cocooner or so, or uh, a couple of cocooners or something like that. Just so that you have that ability to do the, uh, you know, standard evolution and you're not stuck with having to wait for uh, rare candies each and every time. Yeah, the tombs counter the pulps, definitely. Uh, whichever cocoon. I haven't really seen, I haven't looked at any of the Kakunas, but uh, I don't, I'm not telling someone what the latest Kakuna was. Is it team up? Well, you have the team up one that uh, takes 30 less damage from opponent's attacks when it has a uh, grass energy attached to it. I think that was the latest one though. Yeah, I'm thinking Kakuna from Team Up was the last one to come out. standard because at least it has that 30 HP buffer I was thinking on lines you know of whether or not you're not able to get you know say you, say you get item locked and you can't play your items then that means you can't uh, get your B drill out um, I play a deck uh, based off of Luxio um, with disconnect and Sableye V. Um, so basically, I item lock the heck out of you, um, and then until I, you know, knock you out. So against that deck, your only attacker would be Spirit Tone, and I would know that. So I would just make sure to knock out the Spirit Tones before they can do anything, you know, serious. Using uh, you know, belts and whatnot. Uh, I think it's called the. Was it? Not choice band, but uh, some kind of some kind of belt looking thingy. <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. Uh, I'll get back to the game. I promise. I promise. Uh, we're turning this one on, I think, right? Yeah. Close this off on that path, but we can we can walk down here, but it's still locked. Um. Let me see. I gotta turn it off again. Oh, that worked. to turn it back off. No, 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 not Hustle Bell. Um, something else. Uh, it's definitely something else. It wasn't Hustle Bell. Uh, I'm trying to think of what it was. Oh, wow, research papers. May 20, uh, March 25th. A very interesting person came for consultation today. She lost her older sister in an accident and now grief stricken. And is now grief stricken. I couldn't just sit there and watch her suffer through her life. The whole point of my research is to save people like her. 
My experiments have taught me I can change any cognition in my presence. If she can't escape the guilt and pain in her life, all I have to do is make her believe she is her sister. That would be the most direct and effective treatment option. That being said, I did have to alter her cognition quite a bit for the effect to succeed. This was my first time altering a cognition so grace greatly. I should keep an eye on her to see how things develop. Aha! So that's a note about uh, Asumi. Or I mean, Sumi um, Sumire. Yeah, but the more I think about it, the more I'm like, I don't think those jinxes are needed. There's got to be another card you can use that wouldn't take up a Pokemon slot, but that could still put on some damage counters. There's just got to be. Let me check my uh, trainers and whatnot. Gotta be something. Nah, that only works for uh, opponents' Pokemon. Uh, Vitality Band was the band I was talking about. Yeah. Yeah, that was just reading that Grimsley's for only opponents only. We have Vitality Band for the extra 40, um, the extra 10 I meant. For my Luxio deck. I wouldn't work right here. think there's anything that'll put damage counters on your own Pokemon. Outside of an attack. Opposite effect is Nanu. That would only work for uh, Spiritome, though. There's a stun fisk. I don't know if you know about that stun fisk from uh I think it was uh What was it uh Unbroken Bonds I think. But you would still have to put an energy on it. It's a colorless energy though. But it does 30 damage to the opponent's active and 10 to one of your bench. It also has that attack that does 30 times for each, you know, Pokemon with the damage counter on it. On your opponent's side to fill. Stunfisk, uh, 56, 214. Get off my street.
I'll show you the picture of it. I'm sure you know which one I'm talking about. Twin energy? I won't twin only work for evolved Pokemon though? You have it up on DW? I thought twin energy only works on uh evolved Pokemon. I haven't put them in my binder yet. They're still inside of my little uh, bin thingy. By the way, welcome to the uh, welcome to the, the Discord. As long as it's not a V or a G. Okay, yeah. So twin energy could work too. But I mean, you can get the damage off on top of, uh, on top of uh, possibly being able to use this, the other attack as well. I remember getting so lost and confused. This, this place is irritating. I still went in a circle. Oh crap! That's a monster! Um, I don't know if you take him out for the stun fist, but I do know that you should probably take the Jinx out all together. I just... The more I think about it, the more it just doesn't seem like the Jinx really needs to be in there. Swords Dance. Uh, pass it on to Joker. Sure. On to the next. Let's go. Um, let's move to him. Satanaya! Oh no, 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 no. Oh, there we go. My idea. You wanna try it? But as far as the speed of the deck. It looks fast enough to me. It doesn't really seem like there's anything else you can do with the speed. Warp communications, quick balls, candies, hustle belts. Got one hustle belt, two skateboards. Research. You're running three, um, three Marnies. Switch Lily's polka doll times four. Wait, you're running polka dolls too? No, four, four three is fine. Four three is fine. Switches, yeah. Have you also thought about running a uh, Cynthia Caitlin? For the for draw power as opposed to running uh, the Marnies, I mean the Marnies are good for the disruption, but it could also help them out okay. at uh, at ill opportune times. Really and week? at least the Cynthia Caitlin will give you back a supporter like the Elder Goss would. Hmm? Um, it also could negate the fact that you don't even need the Elder Goss in your deck. The only upside to the Elder Goss is that you get to use the supporter as soon as you put it down. Um. Since Cynthia Caitlin wouldn't count as a supporter for the turn, but I mean, you get a supporter in two cards, so. I may have thought of something. 
Yeah. I might actually even take one Marnie out and take out the Elder Goss, put two Cynthia Caitlin's in. I see. And I say this specifically because Blones will blow Elder Goss up immediately. <laughs> Blones will destroy Eldegoss immediately. So you'll get your one supporter for the turn, but if you don't do anything with that one supporter for that turn, that Eldegoss is dead. <laughs> and that's an easy two prize. You're trying to limit them from being able to take two prizes at any time. Um, that way, the only deck that could take two prizes on you would be an ADP deck, and that's assuming that you don't stall them out of getting their... Uh, Attack off. Yeah. But see, the stun fist is in, in. So you're not using the stun fist for the second attack. It's there if you need it. But what you're going for is the, ex, the, the, the slight 30 damage and putting that damage counter onto your B drills so that you can swap them for it. Destiny Sting. Boom. The 30 damage is just, oh, on the off chance that they're able to knock out one of your Beedrills on the bench, well, they have 30 damage on them, so maybe you can, you know, Spirit Tome or Stun Fist to get, get the rest of the damage you need to kill. But the whole point of that is just to get the 10 damage counters onto the uh, Beedrill. But also give, the, give, them, give them something else to worry about. Um... You don't want something like the Jinx just sitting there not attacking so they don't have to worry about it. You can move the uh, damage counters around um, and it could still be helpful, but it's also taking up, you know, bench space. So on the off chance that you have the Jinx out but you not, you're not able to get the Beedrills out because they're knocking out the Weedles, it's like, okay, well, where am I moving the damage counters to? You could move, you know, damage counters from one spirit tome to another to increase the amount of damage on that spirit tome. Um, that's also an uh, an idea. I say, give it a shot. Give it some matches with the stun fist. Um, see how you like it. Um, if not, then go back to the jinx. I can see the merit of having the jinx in there. It's just you have polka dolls, you have jirachis, you have weedles, spirit tomes. Elder Goss, you have way too many things that need to be on the bench at one time. And it just seems like you, you're going to get... Eventually, you're going to end up getting stuck. Uh, do I need to turn the green off? Yeah, I turned the green off. Ah, come on! Oh, it starts up at the top. That makes sense. Exactly. I can see it. Yeah, you wouldn't play Stun Fisk unless you n absolutely have to. Enemies, don't worry. Take out Pokemon and put a third grass in. Or dark. Grass probably better because but your rainbow energies are specifically for, uh, well, it should be specifically for the spirit tone. Though I guess you could technically still use it for the bee drill as well. Honestly, if I had to, if if I was making the decision. I would actually put dark energies in that grass. Um, and then I would only use the rainbow energies on the bee drills because they specifically need that one damage counter to use their attack. So what you can be doing is you have the bee drill and the spirit tones. The spirit tones will do damage to themselves. So you just let the spirit tones set up um, so they get high enough while you're killing with Beedrills, and then you come and sneak a kill with, uh, Spirit Tome.
Oh crap, she countered it. No good. Persona. Uh. Shiva. Shiva. Knock one down. I hope I'm, able, I'm hoping I'm being at least a little bit helpful. Alright, wife B, let's go. Ah, I didn't knock her. Miracle Rush. Got her. Um Let me your power, please. Thank you. Just time to test. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how to build a proper valence deck. One that works well and it's time to pull isn't up. slow. Even though Dragapult kills fa Phalanx, I just want to have a Phalanx deck. Right. I like fighting decks, period. Am I moving forward in this place? This place is weird. Oh, okay. Okay, so I can go this way. Huh? Hey, look, a huge staircase. It appears to stretch all the way to the top of the building. That's probably where the treasure is. We're almost there. there um, we're almost there. Let's keep moving, Joker. Is this a joke? <laughs> or jokes on her? Hey. Wait, Joker. We all agreed the treasure is at the top of that large staircase, didn't we? Shouldn't we go in that direction instead? Mm. But I do sense a will seat over there. What sort of phantom thieves would we be if we ignored it? It may be a good idea to check out the area if we get the chance. It's entirely up to you though, Joker. That is the first time they've ever stopped me from going in any direction that I feel like. We found but yeah, a I'm, seat. I'm glad Let's I'm able it. to be of a little bit of help. My ideas may not be the best, but hopefully they do something for you. Um, this one is for blue only? Oh, no, I can do green, too. We'll turn that one on. Wait, did I just lock myself over here? Oh, I did. Oh, no. I can't go back the way I came, though. That's for certain. Um, yellow, so I need to turn off. I gotta turn the green off. Not because I wanted to, but because this area basically says turn that one off. Um, the will seat's over there. I need to turn off red and blue. This one only lets me control red. Uh, let's hold off on that one. Let's see, is there one for turning off blue right now? Purple. Purple is red and blue. Or I guess it's magenta, technically. So if I turn off blue here... Let's turn the green on. Let's see if that does. Oof. Actually, I need to turn that off, don't I? I actually need to turn that back off, don't I? Uh, no. Turn it back on for now. I think I have to turn green off from some other place. From another location. Alright, so I touch this panel and turn red off. Uh, and that should get rid of magenta. No, magenta's still there. So wait, what color is this one? Blue and green. Okay, this one's blue and green. Um. But I can't move any further. So if I turn off green here. So I need to figure out blue. I have to turn blue off some way, somehow. 
Uh, so maybe I turn red back on and then go and turn off blue. Come back and turn red off. Hopefully that should work. Okay. Can I go back down here? Okay. This allows me to turn off or turn on green. Guess I'm going to have to. Guess I'm going to have to. Uh, this one turns off blue and green. Uh, so we're just turning off blue for now. These puzzles suck. Uh, crap. Do I actually need to turn off? Oh yeah, I turn off green from here. Alright, then I go across and turn off red. We got it, chat. We did it! Alright, so... We're good at HP-wise. The shadow... That shadow looks really strong, Joker-senpai. Like Let's make sure we're well prepared before the fight. What do you say? Let's do it. Hmm. If it's not the fools who spurned the master's generous reality, you're going no further. Turn back if you value your lives. Ah, of course it's a Fafnir. Not today. We're taking that tr um the treasure, you guard, whether you like it or not. It's a Fafnir. This is gonna suck. It's strong and guns won't help. Be careful. Let's dance. Ah, uh, vault guarding him. We essentially have to do this. Uh, Fafnir hurts really bad. I shall be your zona. Do I still have that move? I might not. Yeah, no, I got rid of it by accident. Trying till we get there. Let's keep going till we get there. Say, let's keep going until we get there. Let's go. I uh, will go for go a freeze down. again. Got him. Oh, the cat's gonna knock him down anyway. But this will probably get rid of the freeze. Not bad, Mona. Three, only 320, um, 332? That's important. Uh, next physical dead, um, attack does over double damage. You don't have any skills strong and impervious to nuclear attacks? Do I have any more ice? Anything? Yeah, I got an ice Makitama. Got him. Alright, let's see. Can we one shot kill it? Knock him. Go again. Basically, need to keep rinsing and repeating in that. Um, actually, let's go Tyrant's Will on her. Should make her next gun attack stronger? 
I'm not entirely certain, but we'll find out. 877 damage because of Tyrant's uh, will. With this power. Bum 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 bum. <laughs> Alright, last we'll see. Blue Sorrow Seat. And a slight HP buff. Crystal of Sorrow. Because that's not creepy looking. That's the third will seed. I never would have guessed Dr. Marcy's desires would take this form. Alright, so. I guess I'm turning on things again? Gotta turn the green one on here. Did we make it up already? Ah, oh, fuck the stairs are over here. Oh, I can jump down there. But it's kinda pointless to jump down right there. Um, I think those are the stairs right there I need to get to, so I need to go uh, I think I turn off green but turn on blue Alright So we gotta go this way now Touch test over there. Let's see, yellow is red and green. Is red on still? Huh? Ah, Ooh, but I have to get chest. rid of. Let's open it. I gotta get rid of the blue one. So I need red and green for yellow, and then I but I need to get rid of blue. Some way, somehow, I have to turn off blue. Oh, that's going way backwards. There's got a blue one over there, though. get rid of that color, I need to get rid of red or blue. <laughs> to do the thing that you want to do, you gotta get rid of red or blue. Um, gotta get blue. Ah, but I'm trapped up here now. Oh, but I just had to walk around the long way. Alright, got it. Oh. Got a Soma. Alright, so let's go ahead and re-walk around the long way again. So I want to get rid of yellow, and to do that I need to turn off red or green. But I need cyan as well, so I need to turn on, I need to keep green on, I need to turn off red. 
So you need to turn on blue and turn off red. That one's for green. Hmm. I think I actually have to turn off. Turn off green for now. That's green there. Hmm. I reverse it actually. So we turn off red, turn on blue. Wait, did I? Yeah. Go up this way. All right, so this one needs all colors, so I need to turn red on. Can I turn it on from here, though? I can. We did it, Chet! All right. We're at the end. We're so close to the treasure, I'm, I'm getting kind of nervous. Ain't no need to be nervous. You got me here. And you remember, I'm at the best. All right, so we made it to the top. Looks like there's a safe room right when the you get in. The of cognition are low here. And it looks like we have a fight too. This place looks safe. All right. Can I go in here? Oh, it's a videotape room. I can feel it. This must be the final videotape room. There's a TV over there, and it plays like there's a tape in the player, and it looks like there's a tape in the player. <sighs> this again? I really hope. Oh, I really hope it's the last one. The tape seemed to be growing more and more recent, though. What do we have in store this time? The most recent one, then? Hmm. So, what brings you back here after all these years? That's a comprehensive study on the research you tried to shut down all these years ago. I know how to read. What I meant was, why are you bringing this to me now? Because I can't. Oh, this is just a quick visit out of spite. I wanted to show you in person that I found the concrete evidence you had discontinued my research over. So it appears. I'll admit you've impressed me on that point, at least. But such praise does nothing now. All this discussion is in the past. Why can't you just let it stay there and move on? Ah, uh, no can do, Professor. Cognitive science has made too great an impact on this world to be abandoned like that. What are you saying? The psychotic breakdown incidents. The sudden changes of heart in adults that the Phantom Thieves claim to make. I'm nearly willing to call these events concrete evidence of cognitive science in action. How about you? And the one person pulling the strings in the background of this, Congressman Masayo Shishido. He seems to be confessing to all sorts of crimes now that the Phantom Thieves have changed his heart. Years ago, Shido took notice of my research, stole it away from me, and made others develop it for his own gain. Not only that, 
He used cognitive science somehow to induce the politically motivated psychotic breakdowns. Now, you're heavily involved in that series of events, aren't you? What are... What are you planning on doing with me? Kill him! Oh, nothing at all. As I said before, I only came here out of spite. That paper, my work, is going to change the world. The change world. the world? And where's the <laughs> money for that? Where's the power to do it? You're no Shido. What can someone like you actually do? That paper there is just the first step. I've learned how to change the cognition of not just an individual, but all of humanity. And I will do it. No matter how long it takes. Yeah, enough of this dribble. Get out of my office and don't show your face here again, hear me? Enough of this dribble. What is this? Hmm? What's your problem now? Huh? You... You don't see this? The sky just... The time has come. The time has come! This voice... <sighs> the time is finally at hand. I am the other you, dwelling in the realm of mankind's hearts. The other... me? Wait, the realm of mankind's hearts? Are you telling me that this realm is... You may have no knowledge of it, but I have been at your side for much longer than our current meeting. Finally, your reality and the sea of hearts from which I came have truly become one in this moment. Now, the time for your unjustly persecuted ideology is at hand. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou art I. <gasps> That's it. I finally get it. To think it'd be so... <laughs> hey, what are you mumbling about? I told you to get out! Yes. I'll be on my way. Finally. Now I can finally... I am thou. Thou art See I. Ya. To think he was the one who stymied Dr. Maruki's research. You know, I've been wondering ever since we saw the earlier video. Do you think there was some kind of connection between my mom's cognitive science research and Dr. Maruki's? After he crushed Maruki's chance at researching the field, he had his own pawns do it for him instead. Although I doubt Shido's researchers knew anything about the subject in the way Maruki did. That sounds exactly like the kind of plan that man would scheme up. That bastard! Wait, now's not the time to get pissed about that. There's another thing about that video nobody's mentioned yet. That being that appeared near the end was most likely Maruki's persona. The sky did turn red like that. I wonder if that was the day we fought against the God of Control. Lady Lavenza did tell us that Reality and Mementos were merged together during that time. As you've all seen for yourselves, a full awakening to a persona can't happen unless you're within the Metaverse. That would mean Maruki really did awaken to his persona in that video. And at the same time, he attained the ability to meddle with mementos, the cognition of the masses. So it is just as Lavenza had told us. And the sheer number of coincidences necessary for this to happen is just... Massive. At any rate, <laughs> now we have a better grasp of past events. I'm fairly certain that was a memory Maruki wouldn't want us to have seen either. All we can do is event. Yeah. We don't have the time for these questions anyhow. Let's go. But, but I like questions. I like Shit. asking questions, chat. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna advance. Uh, ah, crap, another lock. Security lock currently engaged. Please answer, please answer the following identity authentication question. What happened to Maruki the day the sky turned red? The day the sky turned red, it must be referring to mementos merging with the real world. Leave the answer to you, Joker. His persona fully awakened. 
or rather it would be more likely more import, um more correct to say that he fully awakened to his persona all right another big guy there aren't any other readings past this guy the map doesn't show any more areas beyond him either this is probably the final hurdle this looks like a tough fight so make sure everyone's Joker. in good condition first you ready let's do it you, I can't believe you made it so far. Yes. But of course, you are not underestimate the Phantom Thieves. We're not lacking, um, we're not backing down now. Let us through. The time of salvation is almost at hand. I won't let you interfere. Siegfried. Still better than fighting Fafnir. Strong and immune to physical strikes? Oh, Bruce okay, well. But I can't shock it, so that's the thing. Uh, Vault Guardian. Raise our defense. Oh, good, good, good thing I did that. Bum, 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 bum. Ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 Just say the word. Ba -da -ba 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 A brave step this time? She may not be able to use... Oh crap. Sweet, we dodged it. They're hating on the cat for. What you waiting on my cat for? Trying to oh, there we go. Got the paralysis off. Sweet. That means one shot to kill is gonna be dumb. Dairon. How about this? Thank you so much. Dairon. Oh, uh, let's go Tyrant's Will on her. Um, we're gonna go with Black Viper. Triple down. Nice. Vault Guardian. Want to make sure we try to keep our defenses up so that he can't come and do some random nonsense and kill us. So as long as Joker doesn't die, we, we're fine. Attack reverted. Status ailment recovered. Sigrid's face changed. Electric break. So, like, is he... That was weird. wonder what that was about. Tyrant's Will. Flow. Please use Flow. 
Oh no, SP up. Mm, I, I mean, it's okay. I still would prefer flow though. Wild Thunder? Mm. Wasn't able to get that, uh... Wasn't able to get that, uh, paralysis off. What do you think you are? Ark Makatama. I tried to paralyze him. We all dodged it. I bet you, I bet you didn't think we'd dodge it. Garudine? Wild Thunder! Oh, I thought I got him with the paralysis again. Alright. Showtime! We bid you adieu! Let's do this, Noir! Enjoy! Monachan, what's wrong? Not wrong. Oh wow, I didn't realize I just realized Tyrant's World works on that showtime too. We did it. Yes. Nice, we're almost to the treasure. Let's move. January 1st. I finally done it. With greater results than ever expected. According to my data, reality and the cognitive world are merging. It may be unbelievable, but I'm the one who did it. I never anticipated this, but my theory is being proven with reality as a whole. I no longer need to meddle with the cognitions of individuals. I can create the ideal reality where no one ever suffers again. With this power, I've been granted. I shall lead the world to utopia. This is the mission granted to me by the people of, by the, um, by the people, by the world. I'm sure he'll come around to accepting it soon. Rumi. I'm so close, so close to fulfilling my promise. In fact, I'll promise you again, here and now, I will create the perfect world for you. Interesting. I wonder who that person is that he was to so, um, that would, uh, quote unquote, come around to accepting it soon. What the? This is... Okay. This appears to be quite the paradise. I assume Maruki's trying to convey that the world will turn into something like this if we allow him to abuse his research. A paradise. Awkward. Wait, but this is a dead end, right? And we still haven't found the treasure. Look again. The shimmery thing? No doubt about it. That's our treasure. That also means we've secured our route. All right. All we got left is send in the calling card. Oh, wait. How are we supposed to do that this time? That's right. Dr. Maruki's been here in the palace this entire time, hasn't he? I'm sure Maruki's well aware that the Phantom Thieves send out their calling cards the day before their heists. Considering his actions up until now, I highly suspect he'll attempt to directly intervene in some way that day. My money's on him trying it with Joker. Good point. In that case, I'll leave the calling card in your hands, Joker. Sure. We could just set up an ambush and destroy him once he steps that too in is our trap. That too a possibility? No way are we doing that! Our goal in coming here is to return reality to its original state, not to beat up Dr. Maruki. But it would have been fun. It was merely a joke. After all, you're all well aware that Maruki's influence on reality goes well beyond this palace. If we make the wrong move in here, we could get eliminated outside the palace, since we lack our personas there. It'd be a safer strategy to change Maruki's heart, just as you all wish. We're finally changing his heart. If we steal Dr. Maruki's treasure, everything will go back to the way it was, right? I don't know for sure. But most likely. Oh, 
Are you okay with it? Yeah, of course. We've all come so far. We can't just give up now. We gotta stick to our own Definitely reality. Again. About the time limit. Dr. Maruki told you it was February 3rd, correct? Yeah, he isn't like anything we've faced before. We should get as strong as we can before that fight. I like being strong. Be what would strong. you like to do? I can feel it. I want to run around a little bit. Huh. It's a room filled with a bunch of half naked people. I should have just headed immediately back. Oh well, there's a safe room right here, so it's not like it's super hard to get back. Checking to see if I there was any spaces that were still grayed out. Now we've reached, we've been to every area. Well, except for that one inside the counseling room. Huh. Hmm. I wonder what's in there. Anyway. I know it's a bit early, but I think we're gonna close up shop for the day. We were so busy today, I ran out of all the ingredients. I don't even remember the last time that happened. Weird, Make huh? Make sure you close up. Anyway, don't forget to lock up. Not yet. There he is. Crap! Chat, I didn't mean to skip all that. My apologies for calling so late. This is Maruki, by the way. I'm actually rather close by. Would you mind lending me an ear? There's something important we need to talk about. And if you do intend to confront me, do intend to confront me, I believe there's something you have to give me first. Something like that. All right. Thank you. I'll be at the cafe shortly. See you later. I don't have much choice in the matter, now, do I? Just as we suspected, he knew he'd have to get a calling card. I have no clue how this meeting is going to go down. Hey, uh, just make sure you keep your guard up, okay? Hey! Let's do this! Sorry for the last minute visit. How's Yoshizawa-san holding up? I've been concerned about a potential relapse, considering her difficulties with accepting this reality. I see. No, that's great news. So, getting down to business. I wanted to confirm with you one last Let's time. Get down to Is there business. no other way to come to an agreement besides fighting? The reality I created may seem distorted from your point of view, but it's a reality where everyone is happy. If you just stay, you'll never have to suffer the pain of loss, or the pain from having people and things stolen away from you. Those pains will help us grow though.
So, you saw what happened with Rumi. I'm not the one who suffered. She is. But she's still living a wonderful life right now. In this world you call a distorted reality. But she still doesn't remember you, right? And you're fine with that? She may not be in my life anymore. But at least her own life is a happy one now. I'm not just doing this for Rumi. I want all of you to live just as happily as she is. But for Rumi's happiness to last, I have to move on. After all that's happened to her, to me, I just can't drag her into it. Fair enough. Doc. My stance will not change. Strange circumstances have led to my gaining this power. However, I now recognize it as being wholly inevitable. This is something only I am capable of doing. I promise. Every person alive will be happy in the world I create. So, let me ask you the same. After really considering every option, do you have any doubts about your views? What do you mean? I suppose it's more accurate to ask, do you two gentlemen have any doubts? You're here, aren't you, Akechi-kun? Akechi! You caught me. Oh, it was just a hunch. This issue doesn't only affect you, Akechi-kun. This involves you, too. Both Akechi and me? <sighs> what do these two have to do with... The relationship you two share is very unusual. A detective and a phantom thief. <clears throat> Despite being enemies, your relationship isn't based on hatred or ill will. That's why I found it so tragic when I learned what happened in Shido's palace. You bastard! So, 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 my final enemy is a puppet version of myself. I... Say, didn't you regret how things ended with him? You two came to a deep understanding of one another. Yet you had no choice but to leave Akechikun to his fate. That's <laughs> why I created a reality where you two could have a fresh start together. Does that mean we're so trapped After in this reality? That's what you have to say. Seriously, you really are. That would mean the Akechi in the real world is... Get what I'm saying? I genuinely didn't want to tell you like this. I didn't want to make it seem like I'm holding him hostage. But no matter what you may think of me, I just want you all to accept this reality and move on with your happy lives. And that matters how, exactly? Don't tell me you think dangling my life before us is going to have any impact on our decision. So you knew. <clears throat> Well, I lacked conclusive evidence, but after I fought against you all, I had a gap in my memory that ended with meeting up with him again. There were also the cases of Wakaba Ishiki and President Okumura. Of course, I'd find all of that suspicious. You're a detective, after all. I had a feeling the truth of the matter still wouldn't dissuade you, Akechi-kun. But how about you? You think dangling my life before us is going to affect our decision? That's what Akechi Kun said a moment ago. If that's yes. how you see it at this point, I'm fine with it. But I'm still going to ask you, one last time, will you accept the reality I create for you? You were the guiding light to my research. You showed me the way so I could make my dream into reality. Is that so? nothing but gratitude for you. Not a single ounce of ill will. That's why I wanted you, of all people, to understand. Perhaps I shouldn't ask you for an answer on the spot like that. I'll be going now. You forgot something. He just flings it across the table, though. Ah, that's right. I've heard your calling. And about my question, let's do this. I'll be waiting in the palace tomorrow, just as I promised. 
If you still haven't changed your mind by then, we'll meet there. But if you don't show, I'll take that to mean you've accepted my reality. See you. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'd like to speak with him. Akechi. Gotcha. I'll leave the decision up to you. Let me know when you've reached an answer. I will carve my own path for myself. I refuse to accept a reality concocted by someone else. Stuck under their control for the rest of my days. Are you sure? Why wouldn't I be? Don't ask such stupid questions after all this time. All you have to do is stick to your guns and challenge Maruki. Don't or ask really such so stupid questions. <laughs> that you fold over some bullshit trivial threat on my life. I won't fold. Then you already know what needs to be done. I want to hear you say it aloud. What do you intend to do? Eat a cookie! I won't wait a moment longer. And... Alright. I'm relieved to hear it. I'm actually kind of wonder what would have happened if I had said we're going to take the offer. I'm done being manipulated. Let's go back to our true reality. Oh yeah, I forgot his transforms too. This is a wannabe this superhero. It's great. I feel so alive. I'll so chaos as far as the eye can see. All right. What's a life worth in a reality that was cooked up just to satisfy someone else? I say none. Here, here. Life to win this, no matter what. Victory, victory for Sylvanas. Oh, sorry. I mean, kind of look like Sylvanas. Like a wannabe Batman. Rebellion Blade. Colossal Almighty damage to one foe. Heavily effective if foe is downed. Hmm. Rebellion Blade! 